Sinn Féin are disappointed, but not surprised that a deal has not yet been done. We said this last uh, Saturday when Dre and I did a press conference and we had outlined that we had concerns that there was no urgency to, to get the, the deal done and to get the issues dealt with. What this constitutes is a monumental failure on behalf of Theresa May. She has set back decades of work that has been done here throughout the years. And it's a consequence, as we all know, of the DUP supporting the Prime Minister and in turn the Prime Minister supporting the DUP. It should be very clear now, and I've said it repeatedly, and we'll be consistent in saying we want to see these institutions restored. But we need the executive to work on a sustainable basis, on the basis of fairness and equality, and that remains our resolve. But we also know that the issues that we're dealing with are rights-based issues. What we're dealing with is the issues of equality. What we're dealing with is making sure we deliver access to legacy inquests, that we're delivering language rights, that we're delivering rights that are available to citizens who live in other parts of these islands. If you live in England, you live in Wales, if you live in Scotland, or you live in the 26 counties, these are basic rights that are afforded to citizens, and they should be afforded to the citizens here. The reason that we don't see those rights afforded and the reason that Theresa May is sitting back and allowing that to happen is because she is in hock to the DUP. We were ready, we are ready to work through all of the issues that are involved here. It should not come as a shock to anyone. You may be able to say this publicly in your very objective position as broadcasters and journalists, but it should come as a shock to no one that the unionist parties want to delay and that they come to issues of rights slowly and reluctantly, but they cannot do that forever. And the reality is that the Sinn Féin electorate will not consent to being governed by the DUP on DUP terms. And we wouldn't expect the DUP electorate to be governed or to consent to be governed by Sinn Féin on Sinn Féin terms. So what's it all about, as the song says? It's about rights. That's what it's about. It's about equality, it's about fairness, it's about respect. And it's really important just to reflect that the rights that are being denied to people here across the range of issues that Michelle has dealt with are promoted in all other parts of these islands. So if you're in Scotland, if you're in Wales, if you're in the South, if you're in England itself, you will have these rights. But you can't have them here. And Theresa May is allowing that to happen because she has done a deal with the DUP. So that's not acceptable to us. We have said that very directly to the DUP. We have said it very directly to James Brookenshire. We've told them that it's not acceptable to us. We want the Taoiseach also to make it clear that it's not acceptable to the Irish government. So, Sinead.